in testing positive for the CCP virus has upended the president's plan to make a major announcement on funding the police. This says bipartisan lawmakers join to fund the police, highlighting a widespread shift from the defund movement. And in a rare moment of bipartisanship on the Hill, with Republicans and Democrats rallying behind the police, we spoke to Republican Representative Troy Nails and Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar. Today, the lawn of the nation's capital was filled with thousands of practitioners who practice the meditation discipline Falun Dafa. It's the 23rd year that they've gathered to expose the Chinese Communist Party's attack on their freedom to believe in China. We spoke to Congressman Steve Shabbat about what can be done to end the persecution.